What's going on guys? What's cracking? Today is working on Cat's car day and uh, we got some new parts. Titanium parts, which is a big deal for me. So we've got some parts here. These are from my buddy JT Barish. I will uh, link all his stuff down below for you guys. These are titanium. Um, these are titanium studs, nuts, and washers that are going on the side of our motor here. Now you're probably asking, well Ryan, you already have studs. Yes, but these are titanium so they will never rust and they'll look pretty all the time versus these steel studs, which are, I believe are off a of Camry. These are the shorter studs that um, you need to use for most turbo manifolds and all that good stuff, but I believe those are off a of Camry. So if you can already see here, like they're almost the same length. Let me move that down some. If you can see, they're almost exactly the same length. The difference is this uses like a star keen end versus like a regular hex key or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so that's the only real difference. I think this looks better than that too. Um, and you get like one, maybe one and a half more thread on this one versus the Camry ones, which these ones can run a little short. So these are actually I ideal. Um, the 12 points, the nuts are sick. Freaking sick looking. Um, I'm pretty pumped about these and the fact they come with washers. I didn't know that when I got the washers, I'm like, that's kind of a nice little add because that adds like another layer too. So when you're clamping it down, it helps it spin freely. So I do like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and remove all the studs on this. Uh, take the ones I just put out because these are actually brand new. Since uh, JT was kind enough to send me these, let's take all these out and replace them. Let's go ahead and throw these bad boys in and see how these look. There we go, boys. They're all installed. Got the nuts on too. This stuff looks so sick. I am beyond happy with the way this turned out. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this is gonna be nice because this won't like, like even stainless steel, like three or four stainless, now 316 metal grade stainless won't, but even three or four stainless uh, nuts and bolts will discolor and start to rust and get pitted and stuff. These won't do that. And these don't round off. So we, we found out with Tony's car, like, you know, you can put a wrench on sometimes a stainless steel bolt and you round off the edge. These things are so hard and the material is so strong that that doesn't happen. So you can put it on the edge and it don't matter. It don't care uh, how you get it on or off. It's, it's not going to give out. Your wrench is going to be more foobard than this will ever be. So super stoked about this. Again, check out the link down below uh, or check out right here who you can contact. JT Barish sent these to me, man. Thank you again, buddy. I do appreciate it. One other thing, guys, I want to go ahead and put the card up here. Uh, this is one of the owners, too. This is one of the part owners of the whole company. Uh, so it's JT Barish and this guy, Ricky. So those guys are the ones making these beautiful, beautiful uh, titanium studs. Now, here's another question I have for you, though. So I was talking to JT here, and now he's wondering, would you guys be interested with studs on the intake side? Uh, so it would be two nuts and two studs, and then the rest would be a total of six bolts on this side uh, that just go for the lower part. It wouldn't be for the stock upper part of the plenum. Uh, just be for the low part, uh, unless that's something you guys would be interested to let, let us know. Another thing would be, we're looking for the valve covers and then the spark plug covers. Would you guys be interested in titanium hardware? Um, for this side, for these, for a 2JZ, it is 130 for a 1JZ. I believe it's 110 and for a 2JZ GE, I believe it's 100 because there's a couple bolts and uh, a couple studs that aren't used on those, I guess. So I'll just let me know guys, let me, I need your feedback on this and uh, it'll help me out and also help out JT. Now the other reason you guys are here today is about redoing your dash panels. You guys, you guys can see right here, I've got the uh, HVAC panel out here. And I've got my other panels I've already stripped. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I use and how I strip the panels. Uh, it's just time consuming. I'm gonna tell you now, it is time consuming. There's a couple ways to do this. I did it a different way when I did it 
on my car, uh, which I use triple art steel wool, and I use Goo Gone, which sucked and it took me forever. This way has cut the time down by a quarter. And there's another way that people are mentioning. I was just unsure of just being plastic if it was going to damage it or not. So I was a little like, eh, a little weary of it. Uh, what I used to strip these off was isopropyl alcohol. And then I got these little green scrub pads from the dollar store. Let's get up here, let's see, right there. These ones right here, these heavy duty scrub pads. Uh, I got those from the dollar store and bought like, I don't know, four or five packs and I just, as soon as they get gummed up or whatever, the rubber material that comes off these, I just throw them away. Cheap, you come in the five pack for a dollar, you can't beat it. Um, this panel still needs some more, there's some spots there. Um, there's some other ones too, that's just water sitting there because I've been rinsing it off too as I go. It just very, very, very tedious. But once it's stripped, you can paint it a bunch of times and do whatever. It's just a, getting the initial rubber coating off sucks. I hate that they did this and they fixed it with the 97 and up cars, uh, but us 93 and a half to 96 cars have these stupid rubber panels and it does suck. And if you do get like, I bought a new six speed panel for that car. Um, the problem is it's beautiful, it looks great. But the problem is it still has that rubber coating on it from the factory and I can't buy 97 panels anymore, which is so dumb. So this is what you have to do. I'm gonna take the one door card out over there and show you actually, I'm gonna show you what I do when I physically remove it all. But I also need to take this door off because I need to get this panel out here. If you guys can see, it's pretty, uh, she's pretty rough and it's just that rubber coating. Your fingernails getting down here over time and it's just this rubber coating sucks. So we're gonna strip all that off, but it's only this small piece here. But to get to it, you have to take this whole door off and then you gotta start pulling some screws back behind here, which I'll show you too. Uh, but to get the door off is not so bad. There's a couple plastic pieces there, some screws down here, just some miscellaneous stuff. So this will take me a few minutes, but shouldn't be too bad to get off. All right guys, so I've got the, uh, little armrest piece off here if you can see here's a piece that has been actually what's you want to say I guess cleaned off and this is the rubber coating still on it so what I do here next is use isopropyl alcohol uh, this is 70% you can get this just about anywhere sheets for Christ's sake I think sells this so if you need to you can get it from like a local drugstore Walmart wherever and then just get these little scrub pads soak these down and they just scrub away at it it's that's pretty much it you just soak these up um, they're a buck for a five pack so just be as generous as you want and just go through them because these are going to get gooey and gummed up. When you see them get any bit black, throw them away and use the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and start stripping this panel and uh, get this done. All right, guys, so you'll see here it's probably still a little wet and it's starting to get ashy here too. It's just because it's stripping it off and taking it down to the bare plastic. Still a little wet there from the isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this panel is now done. I'm having it dry over here. It's wet water-wise. I had it rinsed off. Um, I can never get this damn thing out, so hopefully it still works. Mine still works in my car, but... Just got the last bit, I'll let it dry here, and then hopefully, this Thanksgiving weekend here, hopefully I'll have it done and cleaned up for Thanksgiving weekend and uh, get this stuff shipped out. I shouldn't say shipped out because I'm gonna paint it myself. I'm not sure what color. I gotta find the proper black, and um, I'm just not sure what color I wanna spray it, to be honest. I'm just not sure what it is. It has to be a black of some sort, but I'm just not sure what black I need to do. All right guys, all the panels over there, which I'll show you in a second, but here's what you're going to need to paint them. This is what I'm going to use to do it. So you're going to need tack cloth. So what this does is after you spray it with cleaner, which is this one here, you're gonna spray the panel with this wax and grease remover, right? It's, a, it, it's to get it as clean as possible so the paint adheres to it. So you're gonna use this with a tack cloth to get everything off. Then you're gonna use an adhesion promoter, something to, to make everything stick to it. This is pretty much a plastic primer. This is what you're going to use for that. And then I bought two cans of semi-gloss enamel paint. Now this is from rust -Oleum. Are you gonna to need to? I don't know, but I bought two just to be safe because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, this one, actually, that's when this video will come out, so happy Thanksgiving to y'all. Um, that's when this will be coming out, and this is an easy way of knowing to how to go about and do it. Uh, but two of these, Rust-Oleum, everything here you see is from Rust-Oleum, except from this, is which is from Bondo, the brand, and just work. So this is all you need. I think total this cost me 36 bucks. The stuff's a little expensive, but if you're gonna do it, especially all the time you put in to do the panels, it's worth doing it once and being done. So here's all the panels, guys. I need to clean them off and, like I said, use that because that's just water stained right now into the plastic. Now I'll get all that off and all, all the greasy residue. I'm going to put on gloves so I don't put any grease from my hand on everything. Uh, and there's some stuff I think I need to tape off. I don't think this here I need to tape off in there. And then the bottom side of my auto extrude piece, I don't want to get any paint on that. So I got to tape that off. But everything else, I, don't, I think I'm good. All right, guys. So I'll start spraying it black here. I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure how many coats it's gonna take, but so far, I've done this in the past and it's not been like this. 
I, personally, so far, I'm not happy. The way it's coating is not coming out properly. I'm not sure what I might have done wrong. Uh, I've done this twice before, and it honestly came out flawless. I was like, from the start, I was like, yeah, this is gonna look amazing. But right now, I'm in not happy mode. Now, I'm only on the second coat. I'm probably gonna do five to six coats. That's why I bought two cans. Um, and you're supposed to do them only so far apart. You know, you have to lay them on pretty quick. Pretty far apart, fit 12 to 16 inches, which I've been doing. Um, it just it's taking a little bit more time than I thought it was going to. Uh, the way it's laying on there and some of the stuff that's getting under the paint is not making me too happy. And some of the stuff that I'm able to see, uh, I thought would be more hidden. Um, just uh, being honest, I'm just not happy with the way it's going on so far. I think maybe after some more coats, it won't be as bad, but I'm seeing imperfections I never saw in the past when I did this. And uh, scaring me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little, little nervous. I'm hoping with more more coats, uh, it comes out a little bit. But you can see, obviously, it's wet right now and it's drying, uh, so it's going to have wet and light spots. But we'll see. Hopefully, when it fully dries, I'll be happy with it. Well, guys, if you can see here, I've got all my stripping stuff out, which means I'm not happy. So I had to strip it all. I've got like, well, this one just finished up. It's wet right now, but I've got these ones restripped again here. Um, I will say, stripping the paint is way more pain in the ass than even that goose stuff. So if you're gonna do it, make sure it's done right the first time. It just sucks because this is like the third or fourth time I've done this before. And it just sucks. I'm not sure what happened, but something didn't adhere right, something it wasn't happy with. Um, and being honest, I actually did less prep work in the past. Like the panels would still be half wet when I painted them. Like I was just really lazy and just didn't care. And it came out perfect, like literally perfect. Like I couldn't believe how nice they looked. And this time I took my time, air dried them and everything, used the uh, air compressor to spray every bit of water off of them, get them completely dry, put them inside to let them warm up the temp with the paint and it just blotched and I have no idea. The only thing I could think of is something that I'm using over here because I used to use, where is it at? Do I have it? Is it up here? There was an old hack right here using this stuff right here. So back in the day in Superforms, you would use this Valspar plastic primer um, and you would just spray this on. Don't put anything else on, you just spray and it would look money. It would look like a factory panel. But for some ungodly reason, uh, they stopped selling this. So I'm like, okay, we have to try something new now. Um, and I bought this stuff because, you know, plastic, you know, adhesion, all that good stuff. I'm like, oh, we'll do it proper this time. And then whatever that shit is, I'm not even going to use this. That's 40 bucks down the drain. Um, but yeah, that kind of sucked. And very disappointed because now I'm redoing all this. It's the only panel I haven't touched yet. And if you guys can just see it, just look at it. And plus look how shiny it is. It just doesn't, it's, that's not what I was looking for. It should be much flatter than that. It's like, it has like a stickiness to it almost. I don't know how to explain it, but it, whatever it is, that paint is terrible. Don't use it for these panels. Even though it was designed for it, it just came out trash. So, sorry guys about that. But on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out here for today. Again, if you want to, check out the titanium hardware over there. Uh, I'm gonna do another video showing you how to get this done right. Uh, I mean, stripping it the way I stripped it is the way I would always do it, and it's the way I've done it in the past, so that, that variable hasn't changed. The only thing I can think of is the paint, so I'll let you guys know uh, which proper paint to use here in the following video. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace!